Hello everyone, Kaze here. Today we are beginning lesson two of our Unity VR Chat avatar tutorial series. Today I'll be showing you how to get a custom profile picture for your avatar when people see you in the social tab. In our last tutorial, we showed that we took a picture of Sarah here in her T pose, and that's what other people see when they look at your avatar's um, profile picture in the social tab. But we want something a bit more unique and interesting. So first thing you want to do is, of course, get the profile picture. So what I usually do is I go into VRChat with this model, and I go to the interesting world and take a photo there, and preferably with a cutie mode as well. So you can see here, I already did with Sarah. I went into this Japanese little garden, and I also went to Photoshop and added my name to it. That way, when people see your name in the social tab, it's more easily identifiable. So once you have that, you want to go here and import it in. So I go to Assets folder right here under Project and make a new folder. And I'll just create a folder and call it Avatar Profile Pick. And here I have it right here. Go in here, and then you want to drag Sarah over. So go over here, drag her right in, give it a second, and she's in. And then you want to make a plane in here. So when you have that camera up again, you can just focus the camera on the plane with your profile picture. So usually what I do is go to Game Object, 3D Object, and create a plane. And right now you can see the plane is facing up, and we don't want that. It's a bit harder for us to focus the camera. So I go to Rotation, go to 90%, that way it's facing us. And then for the scale, it looks like it's, it's huge. I usually like it a bit smaller. For a scale here, usually I do 0 0.1. The Y doesn't matter because it's a thickness, and we're just using it as a regular 2D object for our picture to go on. So that doesn't matter. I just put 0.12 in here at 0 0.05. So that way it's a 2 to 1 aspect ratio. You can play around with it if your picture has different aspect ratios, but this is what I have right now. So here's what I have right here. Usually I like to put it a bit closer here so when the camera focuses in on it, it's easier to drag around. So you want to put Sarah onto this plane. So you drag Sarah and put it on the plane. And you can see Sarah right now on it, but it looks a bit dark because you don't have texture on it. So the texture I usually put, use is go over here, Inspector, Sarah, Shader, and I use Unlit and put Texture. And now look, she's a lot brighter. Next thing you want to do is, again, start again the VR Chat avatar upload process. So you go over here, go to Show Build Panel, give it a second and build and publish. And this is going to take a while again as you've seen in the previous video, so I'll probably cut here and resume whenever it's done. Alright, so we're back here and we're at this process again. If um, you see something very zoomed in, make sure you adjust the scale here to, to 1, that way you see everything and you're able to fill everything in. If you're not able to like touch stuff here, um, make sure the pause button isn't on. Sometimes it pauses. Make sure it's if it's on, just click the pause button again, and you should be able to touch the fields here. And some questions that you may have is also, oh, will this picture or plane here render in when I start using my avatar? And it won't happen because um, only stuff with this um, VRC avatar descriptor will load in with your character. So this is just here for the camera to take a picture. So let's go ahead and um, get the VRC camera in. Make sure you have upload image here checked, otherwise um, it'll just use the old image that you have and you'd have wasted your time. So make sure this is checked. And then go here and you see the VRC camera right here onto the left. And you want to adjust this so it's focused in on your picture here. So just keep moving it until it's right in the frame. So usually I just play around with this and go get closer, 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 closer. I usually like to get it where it's just, there's going to be some sp space on the left and right, but it doesn't matter because um, the VR chat camera, when it's rendered in game, is actually not that wide widescreen as it appears to be. So usually I like to get it just about right, the top and bottom, not too much space, and the left and right is going to have th those borders, but you won't see that in game. Um, yeah, I think this is good. 
and you go back to here and you see, oh, it looks it looks pretty good actually, because look, um, the VR chat, I guess profile social tab is not in widescreen; it's the old, um, I guess four, four three ratio. Anyways, let's go ahead and click upload now that we're satisfied with this picture, and then we can go in game and check it out. So this is gonna take a while, and I'll skip through this so you don't have to wait along with me. All right, so the avatar has finished uploading with your new profile picture and this displays update complete launch VR chat. So we'll go ahead and launch it. So we're going to launch up VR chat right here. Give it a moment to load right in. It's logging in right now. And then we can go in and look at a mirror or actually we don't even need to look at a mirror. What we're looking at is actually the profile picture we uploaded. So here we have Sarah, go here and go to the social, no, nope, avatar menu. And you can see, oh, she's right here. And this is the profile picture we just uploaded. And this is what people will see when they look at you under the social tab. And one thing I can note here for you too is um, whatever avatar you log out with and log back in, that's the profile picture people will see. So until you log out again and back in, if you have another avatar, say this Kazebu, for example, if you logged out with this character and log back in, people will see this profile picture um, for the rest of your login. So if you want people to see this one, the Kaze with your profile picture, you'll have to log on and log back in. Of course, this is probably subject to change. Maybe VR chat's gonna change this later. But for now, it looks like we got this loaded in. Um, you can see the Kaze text here is a bit cut off. So you, probably I should have played around with it a bit more and moved it a bit down or maybe placed it right here. But um, this is all subject to change as well. Maybe VR chat will change the ratio too later. Cause um, it looked perfect in the VRC camera, but um, you can see like now that we're in game, it's not really what's shown. So, well, definitely play around with that, but um, you can definitely get it working. So with this, um, you can see it only took probably roughly maybe five minutes to get this imported. And if you know the process, it's probably going to take even shorter over time. So for the next lesson, we'll, we'll probably look into getting avatar sizes correctly. So if you want a chibi size or if you want a larger character size, we can go play around with that. But for now, um, we're done here. Thanks for joining in. 